Okay, I turned in the bounty and after looking at this I realized I probably shouldn't do this yet. <laughs> um, both of these guys are a bit too strong. This one I could probably do, but it's still a bit much. So I'm just like keeping them understood for the most part. I can... Um, not that one. The way quests are sort of done is a bit weird. Uh, okay. I could probably do that. I'm getting about... Yeah, I could I could do that one. Uh, but there's also this. Bah, rumors. Let's see. Uh, just buy all of them. And... Quest log time. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff here. I'll leave that for later. Uh, how will we meet him? Talk to the bard. Witness the fate of the count. Outside of the jail, see what the commotion is about. Well, there's something right there, so I might as well go. Since it's close by and all. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Finally got the count, huh? With my last breaths in this life, I choose to say that I only regret this. My only regret is that I have to look at your ugly mugs as I go out. You're drowning an innocent man, and you'll suffer for it in the next life, in this life or the next. Breathe deep with the water hits you, Count if Evalista. I say, good riddance. You're all a bunch of barbarians. The tide's rising. You dirty dog, Evalista. The tide will show ye the truth. This is well-deserved bath for ye, Evalista. Oh, it is actually coming in. Oh, dear. Well. Yeah, that was just a li bit... Yeah... Remember the crowd addresses you, perhaps because you happen to be close by. Show's over, I guess. It's shame about his wife, she says. Uh, what do you do anyway? The Count was up to no good and murdered some of his own competitors in cold blood, as well as more than a few innocents caught in the crossfire. Looks like the lives he's ruined finally caught up to him. What happened to his wife? Well, his wife, Countess Avalista, lo is locked up and awaits the same fate as he. She's imprisoned in the jailhouse that way. A pretty lass. I had best shove off at the same Countess of Lista going to be claimed by the tides. I bet she has some stories to tell, like where Count of Lista stashed his hoard, she says. Ah, well, let's go talk to her. <laughs> I'm assuming that we have to go in here for that. Right? Ah, yes. Luckily I've already been in here and stolen things. You look quest important. Delicate looking woman looks sullen through the cold iron bars of her cell. I heard screaming outside. Did you witness it? Tell me. Did he suffer? She says. I hope he didn't suffer. She looks down at her empty hands and stares blankly at them. Sorry about your husband. I know my husband wasn't a good man, but no one deserves to die like that. I just keep thinking of his final moments and she starts sobbing. You have to help me get out of here. You saw what they did. They're going to do it to me. But my husband did who he was. That has nothing to do with me. I don't know if he just wanted to keep me safe by keeping me ignorant, but... She says, and then her head tilts like she's remembering something. Actually, there, there is something I do know about. He kept mentioning something about a vault. If you help me, I'll tell you what I know. I think I know where his vault is. Whatever is in it is yours. I don't care about money. I don't care. Will you help me if I get out of here? Sure. That's the bit, first bit of good news I've heard since this nightmare began. Maybe I shouldn't. 
Maybe I should join my husband. Is that crazy? It is crazy. Pull it together, Hilda. She clenches her jaw. The guard at the front desk has the key. He's a bit uh, simple. I don't care how you get it, but bring it here. Once we make it out of here, I'll mark the vault location on your map. I am many things, but one thing I'm not is a liar. She squeezes your hand. Maybe the world hasn't abandoned me after all. You have instructions? Hurry, she says, and dismisses you. Well, all right. I'm sure nothing bad is going to come of this. I should save my game regardless. <laughs> sure everything's going to be exactly fine. Nothing bad is going to happen. All right, so you look front desky. You do you like plants? Large man asks. Who doesn't? If you're a friend of plants, you're a friend of mine. Uh, does the plant on your desk have a name? Oh, no one asks me that. You must like plants. Try to guess her name. Damn. Hold on. Violet. Nope, nope. Purdy. Purdy? That's a great name. When I look at this plant, I feel all warm and fuzzy. Does Purdy talk to you, too? She's so sweet to me. Pretty says she hears someone trampling flowers outside. No, the day's too nice to let flowers die. Stay here. Pretty, I got this. <laughs> well, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. This is fine. This is fine. As long as she doesn't murder me. Let's get out of here. This way. Quick. Which way is this way? She doesn't really look like a countess. Not that I guess I know what countesses look like. Just not usually like that. I'm afraid this is where we part ways. What's the matter? Suddenly can't move? Haha. <laughs> I'm not telling you where the vault is. I'm not telling you anything. Did you really buy the poor defenseless damsel act? Of course, I knew all about my husband's dealings. Then again, I was real mastermind behind it all. But lucky for me, there are gullible do-gooders out there who fancy themselves heroes. I'll teach you fools to believe every sob story you hear. Enjoy the rest of your pathetic lives. Ah. Well, um... Uh... <laughs> Please tell me there's, there's there's more to that than just me being stupid. <laughs> well... Uh... <laughs> okay. I guess I messed that up. Let's see. If she's gone up here, though, there is a... She could have possibly just gotten away, though. Oh, I can teleport from here to there. That's right, that's a thing. Not really a teleport, but that is a thing. Uh, well... Oops. <laughs> Alright, so Lowey has to meet someone up around here somewhere. I think it was up here? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Brother Will Mother, but... Ah, here we go. Toothbearer, you honor us by visiting the will of the Mother Serpent. I advise caution if visiting, as we have some unwelcome guests currently taking up residence there. At least for the time being, he says. His voice is calming and gentle, though there seems to be hiding concern. Unwelcome guests? Oh, well, you see... His eyes avert to the ground. It is nothing really. It is something that will resolve itself in time, as with all matters. He looks up and gives a convincing smile. Please do not trouble yourself with it. Priest, as truth-bearer, I seek to help my people in any way. Alawi, I knew you would say that, but I was hoping you wouldn't. This is... I'm so sorry that this happened. This is our fault. That's why, he says. Finally, he excels and rea relaxes. Whatever you want to call them, road, road agents, bandits, thugs, they've started harassing visitors to the well. They demand payment just to get to the place of offering. 
I will settle this matter for you, ple priest. Thank you. I do not know much more than that. Look for their leader, he says. This well is supposed to be a place of hope and worship for Palangi and Buru alike. It deeply saddens me to see conflict within it. He nods, completing his thought. Alright. Let's save, because I don't actually know what level of fighter these, these guys are going to be, so... They might be much stronger than me. Let's find out. Also, I haven't been here before, so there is stuff- ooh. Buru missives, one of two. Althu, the priestess poked me in the belly and told me not to fish in the harbor anymore. I'm going to try my luck out around the Blade Serpent Reef. Be back late tonight, unless my arms give out. You were right, I should have stopped eating those sweet fruits. Ah, well, new waters await. No go. Lutha, Priestess Ethoa, and I should build our neighborhood a new ship house. Going to sail over to her and pick up my brothers to help out. I'm thinking we should put a little tile pattern on the floor. Can you design it? Ah. So there's shipwrecks here. I mean, that's kind of a normal thing. There's always going to be a lot of shipwrecks around here. Uh, it's just lots of rocks, lots of ships. They be wrecking all the time. I don't see anything strange about it. Truth bearer, a word, please. Only one word. No, see, Alawi, that was your one word. You only get the one word. You can't have any more words. <laughs> Alawi, this is quite an honor. My friend and I come from a small village. He motions to a man sitting nearby. One too small to receive a visit from the truth bearer such as yourself. We are humbled to stand in your presence, he says, and bows his head. We came here to offer tribute to Mother Serpent. Many speak of this well as a site where Buru and Pelangi alike come to worship. I admit we found it hard to believe that Pelangi care enough to pay tribute to Nakake Boros. I trust your time in Bilgewater has been illuminating. Though it is a city made up of different cultures, there are many who revere the Mother Serpent. You have seen as much ourselves. Perhaps we do not give the Pelangi enough credit. Our elders often speak ill of this city, and many wonder why you choose to spend so much time here. They question if such action would please the Mother Serpent. Bilgewater is a city of motion, a place where many come to pursue their destiny. It is only natural the Mother Serpent would offer a blessing to a place such as this. Sheepishly, his shoulders and head lower, and he casts his eyes down and allow his feet. You are truly wise, truth bearer. I look forward to speaking with my elders and telling them of this place. Were you able to make an offering to the Mother Serpent? No, a group of Pelangi thugs block the path to bow of the ship to the bow of the ship, the place where I'm told you make offerings. Under threat of violence you must pay a tribute to them before you can offer one to her. They are stealing her offerings, they put themselves on the same level as a god. Uh I will put an end to this. I will meet their leader. He smiles. It was good to see you, Alawi. I will tell my village that I met you. There's more lore! Eat it. Eat the lore. Alright. Mathu, you have a son now. You cannot go hunting every day. The tides of your life have changed. You must change the pattern. You will come to the Temple of the Waves tomorrow with your family. Priestess Ithoa. Degolai, I do not think it is wise for you to go after this Naga cult. The Palangi are fools and easily led by false words. But it is not our concern. Let the oceans clear, wash them away. Salui. Yes, Aika, I have many concerns. The dead do not rest well here. The black mist must be drifting nearby. I have ordered a general e evacuation back to Buru and Ilta. We are preparing the temples for an assault. I suggest you do the same. Uh, okay. Let's go. More lore. Uh, thinking of Ilta. Nuka, thanks for your advice and kind words. But I am sick of Bilgewater. The priestesses here are very meddlesome and bossy. It's almost as bad as when I visited Buru. Of course I honor Nakake Boros. But I'm from Ilta. We take our time and enjoy life. Change happens just as well as a slower and steadier pace, doesn't it? After hunt, why do I need to rush out and chop down a tree or mend some nets right away? Can't I rest? When next you summon a great serpent headed towards Ilta, can I ride it back to it with you? Interesting. What's this say? So I mean, it's well of the mother serpent. Hey. hey! 
pair of bandits appear on the path to the bridge and stand in the way. Welcome to the Great Wishing Well. Have you come to make an offering of the Mother Serpent? For a small fee, we can make your visit there a pleasant one. Are you the people I hear causing trouble? Trouble? Why, we're of no trouble at all. We're just here to help. We're of your tour guides. The paths high up can be dangerous. You wouldn't want something terrible happening to you uh, when you're trying to make tribute, do you? Please, try to take my money. Have it your way, then. Do you have any idea who this is? I don't think they do. Okay, it's only these two that are here. Uh, attempts to flee and cause reinforcements at low health. Oh, I so I should kill him first. Pierce. Okay, I need to kill her before next turn, I believe. So let's do this. And then I should just be able to end it with this. Oh no, I should have just. 82. Yes, this is enough. I was just getting started. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just didn't want her to call reinforcements. It would have been annoying if she did. Give me the things. I want the things. Thank you. Not that it's a lot, but, you know, it's things. <laughs> you know. So it's a whole ship here. That's cool. The lusty legend of Hay Haraway. <laughs> what am I reading? Alright, Hay ducked into a tiny alleyway off Main Spring Crescent, her heart thudding in her chest. Not from her close call with the Lux Piltoven Casino Security Forces, but from the encounter with that mysterious stranger across the card table. Those green eyes hidden behind the ice feather mask had blinked amusedly whenever the Hay raised the strake. Easy to do when playing with a pickpocket purse, of course. And finally, the last time Hay raised those red lips had puttered with a smile. Rather than a stack of chips, the opponent slid a single scrap of paper onto the center of the table. Hay was a gambler. She couldn't resist. Call, she said. The dealer flipped the cards. She'd won, but there was barely a moment to celebrate before the guards were on her. She'd slipped them, of course, but not without one thing. With trembling hand, she unfolded a scrap of paper, an address in the clan district, scrawled beneath it. Do come, hey grand. Hmm. Anytime cards are mentioned, I immediately think that twist uh, this dude named Twisted Fate is involved. He's a well-known card shark. All right. You are safe. Ankle slicer. Okay, no buffs. No buffs. No buffs. All right. That's how we do it. You shoot gun. I like the ankle slicer. I like that. You aren't gonna like this though. 
Never get so. Let's see, she's got 20, overcharge. And you can do this for free. None shoot. Hey. Okay. Not too bad. I'm gonna switch back to him. This door requires a key. Alright. Hey. What about you? This door requires a key. Fine. All the doors require your keys. Oh. One step ahead of the past. <laughs> no shoot the gun. She has lower health. Let's see. Let's do this. Oh yes, What's many punches. A few more deaths. Let's see. Was fun. I love how extra he was with it too. He just jumped all over the place to get to it. That was great. I loved it. <laughs> oh, his haste is up. I'm down, fighting. Oh well. Okay. Never Dead by poison. See, I can get put poison on my weapons and stuff, so it's fun. Ooh, what's this? Compared to the decay and disrepair surrounding the area, the cannon has stood for the test of time. To have it to move without the proper tools, the looters may have ignored it in favor of something of easier to carry items. Down at sight you see a boulder that potentially blocks a walkable pathway alongside a cliff. There are plenty of cannonballs nearby, but the cannon lacks gunpowder to fire any of them. So we need gunpowder.